Christian. Uh, I don't know how many years ago. I'm not going to say. But she's still young enough. And this is my husband, Manuel Colomo. And Daniel is a quiet one. And he works for the vet center across the street at the corner office. So he keeps an eye on her. He's a therapist counselor for the VA. And I'm not, I'm now retired, okay? But um, I wanted to tell you just a few words. And see, I got everybody quiet. That's so nice. Uh, I didn't have to use my alternatives. But anyway, um, I've been around in the community for a long time. Most of you know me. And uh, there's my beautiful judge, Bobby Valderas. Oh, the mayor. The mayor's over here. Get over here. Yeah, okay, the beautiful mayor. Okay, I just want to introduce my daughter because that's my privilege. And I did everything she's doing now. And then I got sick. So now she's doing it. And I'm very proud of you, Kathy. But I want you to take it easy because then you'll wind up like me. You know? <laughs> and I don't want that because Kathy just overdoes it, okay? But anyway, um, I'm glad I, that you're following Mama's footsteps and doing for the people that need you like Dress for Success. And uh, that, well, you're doing everything that I did to see too. And she did it with me when she was a baby all the way up. Politics and everything, but especially in the nonprofits. So um, I love you and God give you more strength. Okay, well now we are going to start the ribbon cutting ceremony so if I could have Mayor Nelda Martinez and if I could also have Rosie Colleen representing the Corpus Christi Hispanic Chamber of Commerce at CITCO Sharon Kalaya from the Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce. Sylvia Oliver with the Black Chamber of Commerce. Gilda Ramirez with WBA. Gilda still here? Yes. I would also like to acknowledge some uh, elected officials we have. And if I miss anybody, please feel free to come up and, and join us. Uh, Judge Joe Gonzalez. Colleen McIntyre. Mm -hmm. I have Luis here, representing Congresswoman Ferenthal's office, Rudy Garza, Chad McGill, Judge Bobby Balderas. Am I missing any elected officials that showed up? Mary Helen? And Patsy Perez. And Patsy Perez. Thank you. I got Judge Dag. He's coming. <laughs> and I just want to thank everyone. Again, this has been... Um, I'm going to say a year and a half, I think, in the making, but um, it's truly been like another, uh, it's good, yes, it's truly been like another child because it takes about nine months from the first stage that we got approved and then another nine months to um, open the door. So I think I have now a total of four, it just feels like four children. But, but, does, <laughs> but does it hurt that much? No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> but I... But I cannot take all the credit. I have a really, really dynamic group of ladies, and we affectionately call them our dynamic divas. So if you're a dynamic diva, please raise your hand. These are all the hardworking ladies. And tonight you will see that we also now have our dynamic dudes. These are the guys that are home eating the sandwiches and the leftovers and wondering where their wives are at. And then they come and they get it and they join uh, arms with us and we really love them and appreciate them. And of course, my dynamic dude, Jeffrey Riojas, my two sons. I, I think they're all out of pizza, eating pizza for the whole year because, you know, but this, they know that this is a passion. This is something that I wanted to bring to the community. My mother and my father instilled a long time ago, you have to be a good steward of your community. You have to give to get back. And so I feel with this that we want to help. And we want to help. And I think it's so empower powerful when you want to help empower other people but other women. Women helping women I think is very powerful. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really was a joint effort on a lot of people. And I love everyone. And please, if you can, get involved with us. Get involved with us uh, monetarily. Get involved with us as a sponsor. Get involved with us as a volunteer. February, we're proclaiming as a show your love to dress for success. So we have a lot of great ideas and plans coming out in the future. But stay involved with us on Facebook. And again, if you haven't gotten a tour, the tour will, will resume right after this. And then we're going to start with door prizes. We have food. We have drink. And again, thank you to Sitco for donating our networking tent. Can I have a round of applause for Sitco? I want to really thank our quickly our other volunteers and our sponsors, Sabor Catering. Thank you, Natalie. She's one of our dynamic divas. Her son, DJ Weaselpar, he's been playing some great music and he's 12 years old. So round of applause for him. Jason's Deli. 
Jason's Deli, LNF Distributors, Andrews uh, Distributors, Pepsi, Glazers, John Garcia, Outside the Box, Against Sitco. And I want to do, I want to mention too here in a few minutes after the mayor speaks or maybe before, we have Martha with Walmart Regional HR Director, South Texas. So Martha, if you want to say a few words because as we open here, we're very fortunate. We're one of 15 affiliates nationwide that was able to get a grant through Walmart paving the way. So it was a little hectic for us, but now instead of just opening, we opened with a level three career center, which means that we will have to be, uh, have volunteers in place and staff in place to have women come and we want to build with them so it goes beyond the suit it really does and once you take the tour I hope you understand that that we want to be here to empower them to support them but say they go and try to get a job and they're not having success then they can come to that career center they don't have to go through the whole process and they can help with resume writing career skills and so forth so we're very fortunate to have been part of that grant and I wanted uh, Martha to say a few words thank you this is so exciting so on behalf of uh, the 35,000 Walmart associates in South Texas and the 1.2 million associates nationwide, it is a pleasure to be here to see this beautiful, beautiful facility being open. You know, as most of you know, that w one of the defining um, faucets of our culture is to give back to the communities in which we reside. And in fact, uh, in South Texas alone, uh, Walmart donated over 1,300 hours of volunteer work last year, and our Walmart Foundation donated a half a million dollars to help folks in South, South Texas. So, you know, as you know also, one of the biggest issues in our world today is helping women live better lives. And therefore, Walmart has made it a primary focus, not only in, for career opportunities within Walmart, but to enable Walmart, to enable women to be economically advantaged. So it is, we are so proud to be part of this. And I've heard of um, um, Dress for Success, but never been through a facility. And I'm just amazed and awed at all the people here and just feel privileged to be here to, with you. And thank you very much. We're really excited about this. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna have each of the chambers if they'd like to say a few words. And I'll start, Rosie, you're right here. Okay. Well, I just wanted to congratulate Kathy and her team of Dynamic Divas and, and the community, really, for coming out to support Dress for Success. And so on behalf of the Corpus Christi Hispanic Chamber Board of Directors and its uh, president and CEO, Teresa Rodriguez, congratulations to Kathy and to the community because we're a better place today, tonight, because of Dress for Success. Sharon, I'd like to hear words. On behalf of the Corpus Christi Chamber of Commerce, I mean, what can I say? Wow, this is amazing. And this is something that Corpus really needs. And, you know, the Chamber being a business organization, how wonderful to have a place like this for the women to come to. I have to be a little selfish on behalf of Sterling personnel to know that you've got this career center. That's awesome because that's such a big help and that gets them out there and gets them and their resumes ready to go. So thank you for doing all this. This is fabulous. Ms. Holland? I too say thank you, Kathy, and your staff for bringing this wonderful organization back to Corpus Christi. And on behalf of the Corpus Christi Black Chamber of Commerce, also we know that it's a man's world, but a woman runs it. <laughs> I like that. I'm Hilda Ramirez. I'm president of the Westside Business Association. And on behalf of uh, Westside Business Association, I just want to applaud uh, Kathy for opening this. We talked from the very beginning about this when she started uh, uh, conceiving of the plan. Uh, want to lock arm, arm in arm with her so that we can have a collective impact as we collaborate to help uh, women in the community uh, find jobs and have the, the clothes to wear. Uh, the, WBA is uh, intent on the economic development and on the educational development in our community. So congratulations. And now the mayor. I don't know how many of you all remember your first interview, whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, some people remember what they wore. I will tell you one of my uh, crossroads in my life after I put myself through college at the University of Texas in Austin and um, being a waitress, having to save up that extra money for that first suit, I saved that suit. Now it's a few sizes smaller. <laughs> 
but I will tell you that um, it means a lot when you take pride and you invest in something and you have that self-esteem and you have that confidence. So, Kathy, I want to thank you for uh, this initiative and launching this. It, it, it's a great opportunity to advance women in their careers and give them that that extra push, that little edge of um, having that confidence and the pride as they go in with the other challenges that they have in an interview. And we don't do these things alone. And the men that are here, you have been great mentors to us and great supporters of us. And so um, very touched by also uh, what your mother says. Your mother said, let me tell you, she's one tough woman. She may be having some health issues, but um, she's been through a lot of rodeos and she raised you well. And thank God for all of our mentors, men and women, I'm so proud of this initiative. Thank you all uh, for being here. Y también me voy a decir felicidades. Y también adelante, pero primero, where is Colleen McIntyre, Rudy Garza, Chad McGill. Am I missing someone, my other council members here? On this time. Uh, could you raise your the right be oh look the right behind me I was wondering I feel some thunder behind me going on back there but they rock but I also have to say this you know who would be here right now would be so proud beaming is Priscilla Leal I saw her son before I got over here and um, she's doing good every day is a better day and uh, she even started to put the cup into her mouth after she was eating today by herself and so every day it's getting better. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for caring. And um, dress for success. Felicidades. Let's rock and roll. Yes, and we do want to send special prayers to uh, Councilman Liao. She was one of our first uh, clothing donors. So again, prayers to her and her family. <laughs> Mr. Marcus?